Welcome back. Let's play Samantha once more. Um, so we're taking advantage of the fact that there's a daily reset every day at midnight GMT. We just completed a game and it's time to play another one. So how about, oh, they're using a different word. Bummer. Magnet is always a fun word, but um, it's usually more effective to guess like something having to do with a person or some role in society or something like that. Food, vegetable, mineral, etc. Uh, just try to get some sense of like where in the language spectrum might this word even lie. Fly, flying, no, okay. Um, Wet, dry, uh, burn, fire, tree. Hmm. Well, I'm surprised I've got nowhere closer. So here we see the nearest word has a similarity of 75.6. The tenth nearest, 54, and the thousandth nearest, 21. Oh, this is why I've not been able to, like, cross 20 here. There are only a thousand words... Well, I'm sorry, there are only a thousand words that are the thousand most similar. But the thousandth most similar word has a similarity of 21.28. Which means this is going to be really hard. Unless I can find a path to get to 21 and then upward from there. Whatever word this is does not have very many similar uses in articles. Um, so consequently, like base, this might be a pretty uniform distribution. This could be really hard. I just have to make a whole bunch of random guesses. But I might be pretty heavily discouraged. Just, yeah, they picked a obtuse word. Well, maybe I should go for a half hour and see after that half hour, have I gotten anywhere in the top 1,000? Puzzler. Um, it's interesting. I thought that these would be fairly uniform, but well, yeah, so we see that like mineral and puzzle and leader are all equally close. Which doesn't really give you much of a hint about, um, like, what this thing might even be. Author is kind of interesting. All right. So we have Codier, a term at the card game uh, Ember, or Omber. That signifies that the game is one. There's no way this is in there, but that'd be funny. Um, author. Let's see. What do I think would be the best way to go about making a bot to solve some mantle? And the minimum number of words. Um. Okay. So there might be more than one answer to this. So the simplest would be 
do exactly the same instructions that were used to set up the original game, get the same exact data set, and um, brute force every possibility until you come up with the fastest way to guess a word. That's probably not feasible, but it would be a way to go if you had an insanely powerful computer. Um, short of that, I don't know, do something with machine learning and have the machine learning figure out that hard problem. Um, again, access to a good data set would probably help. For a genericized form of the game, which is played with multiple texts, um, you might be able to find AIs that accept certain parameters which perform well with certain data models, but for a more generalized form of the game that doesn't just use the same exact text uh, source. But yeah, it seems like something involving machine learning. Um, I'm forgetting, there's a four-letter acronym for a long, short-term learning um, sort of learner. Something that does well both with recent data, but also retaining data over a longer duration. I think it's LSTM, the classifier or learner in question. I forget what LSTM stands for. Um, so what is this? What could this be? Author ing, authored, authenticate, authenticity. <laughs> All right, authentic, truth. No, authenticity has a score of nineteen. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, what else could this be? Certify. What, what is similar to authenticity? I don't know. Oops, I meant to type original. Hmm. Where is similitude? <laughs> That's a fun word. I wonder, unfortunately I don't know words long enough, but it seems you typed in a word with enough letters. Eventually the guess and similarity columns would collide. Um, oh, another question. If you just guess the most similar word to your last guess, every single guess, well, I expect that to loop or to terminate. I guess it depends what my previous guess was. So if you pick a word that has only one synonym, and its synonym has only one synonym, 
Uh, I guess that would loop between the two words over and over. Um, if you picked a word which has only one synonym and that synonym doesn't have any synonyms, that would be... I don't know how you'd do it. But if you could do that, that uh, would terminate, I guess. Um... Hmm. Nascent. So this has much more to do with. I'm not sure what. Inventing. Invention. Inventor. Nope. That's a red herring. Hmm. Yeah, I'm stumped. This game is hard. Creating creation, create, strange. Similarity. Oh man. It would have been nice to use a word that was in the description at the top, but um, evidently not. Also, word is up here for some reason, along with originality and authenticity, just word has a score of 15.7. Wordsmith, 15.97. Number? No, this is much more about words. Book. Bible. Oh. Signature. Yeah, I was trying to remember the word for signature. You feel like that would be an interesting restriction that a bot can only choose from similar words in trying to pursue uh, a secret word. Yeah, that would be tough. Um, <laughs> that might get you stuck in a loop, and you might have to like progressively increase the bound if you found you're stuck in a loop somehow. Um, Unless you allow yourself to guess similar words based on any of the points you previously visited, then um, in which case you could just do a breath first search. I don't know how you do it, but something like that. Rare. Mm.
song is up here too. Singing is not up there. Songwriting. Arranging. Nope. Singer. Signer. I don't know. Signer is closer than singer. Signatory. Signal. <laughs> I mean, if you have the complete uh, set of all the words and you've computed based on the text of how similar each word is to its each other word, then you know you have a total ordering that says like wet and water or something are close and that like you wouldn't know what the secret word is, but you'd know relative to each word what are all of its closest neighbors. Even though you wouldn't know like how close each of those is to the secret. But yeah, to implement breadth first search, I guess you just implement it normally. Keep a list of all the tracked nodes and um, for each word or node, uh, look up in your own special dictionary what are all the synonyms or similar words in similar contexts and just keep guessing those in some way. I guess also is a good policy try to pick when you're expanding uh, points on your graph uh, stick with the one that um, you got back each time you made a guess a score and just try to guess from your closest word every synonym or similar or context word and then if you run out of candidates at that word then look at all the other things you guessed and pick the highest scoring one and pick some words that are close by in your dictionary, I guess. I guess it would work like BFS normally works. That's my guess. Banner is just as good as authenticity. Emblem. Sigil. Flag. Flagging. Flagger. Bannering. Marching has nothing to do with this. Hmm. Enchant. Chanting. Chantment. Okay, we've almost got the thousandth most similar word. Curious. A fortune? How would you ex so something similar to enchantment or magic? Weird. Emblem. 
Voodoo. Yeah, I'm trying to guess some things that are esoteric, but only because, like, the most similar words are quite similar. But there's very few similar words to today's secret. Prophecy is not too far off. But also, wordsmith is not far off. Whoops. History. Historic. Hmm. Ancient. Medieval, classical, hmm. antique, antiquify. <laughs> Dang. Hmm. Yeah, I am getting really close to being stumped. And there's no hint button. So, like, unless I feel like pursuing this throughout the day tomorrow. Hmm. I mean, maybe tomorrow I'll be in better spirits to try it again, but it seems really, really damn hard. I mean, I like the theme, though. It's like we have banners, and magic, and enchantment, and a book, and history. But, um... Where'd he even take it further from that? Mystic, maybe? Mystify? Mystical? Wonder, wondrous, wonderment, awe, reverence. But it's not worship, though, because worship had a really low score. <gasps> that could just be coincidence. Deify? How close is enchant to enchantment? Hmm. Not that close. Yeah, spell book perhaps though. Spell book is about fifteen. I don't know enough words about produce production of magical artifacts. Or use of magical artifacts or something. Yeah. This is tough. Like, as I pointed out from the very beginning, the thousandth nearest word has a similarity of 21.28.
which means basically every word in the English language is not like this word, whatever it is. Which doesn't really help. <laughs> so I tried not to get too discouraged right off the bat. But yeah, that was not great news to hear. Yeah, I might give it another 10 minutes or so. Absolution. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I've not tried cast yet. Casting. Hmm. Spellcaster, spellcast. Oh, there's spellcaster. There's no such thing as spellcast. Well, I did get spellcasting. Punish. Hmm. This one, yeah, it could just be a mystery for the next 24 hours. Um, divine. So I would guess S A N C T I P O. IFY, sanctify, uh, beatify, not in there. So enchantment scored much higher then Wonderment scored. So this isn't about like being excited or enchanted about a thing. This seems much more to have to do with the magic side of an enchantment, not just being receiving and enchanted by something. But yeah. Yeah, well, it makes sense that we can't score very high because, like, every word scores low unless you get in the top 1,000. It's kind of maddening. Then again, if I did get somewhere in the top 1,000, I'm sure I'd be mad that I can't find the next word, so. It's all sour grapes at this point, isn't it? No, oh, supernatural. Yeah. Unnatural. Denature. Yeah, so supernatural scored 11. Homeopath. Homeopathy. Nope. This could be basically anything. It's 
Spiriting. Nope. Despiriting. I might have not spelled that right. But also, I don't think it's a word. Haunting. How do you spell Ouija? I thought that was O U J I A. Biblical. Mm, scored about as well as Bible, unfortunately. Uh, is this how you spell it? There's some silly board game, but it might be a proper noun. Role play, role playing, acting. Yeah, you know, there is a word in religion or spirituality that has to do with, like, supernatural phenomena. The word escapes me right now. But yeah, there's a word that has to do with things that are supernatural in nature. Let's search for words related to supernatural. <laughs> oh, genie. That's not it. I guessed that. Uh, leprechaun? Sorcery. Nope. Um, mana. Hmm. It is fun to see how many words there are uh, in the English language that are similar to another word. Ritual. Chanter. Chanted. Enchantment. I misspelled magic. It does not score any better. Trick. Deception. Yeah, I don't know. Skill. Tri tribute or attribute. Hmm. This all seems... So puzzling to me. This could be. Uh, 
Uh, let's just try some things completely out of the box, because why not? Peace scores better than war by far. Okay, let's get a random word, just for fun. <laughs> Braunschweiger. Smoked liverwurst. Well, liverwurst has a positive similarity, which probably doesn't say much. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I think I am stumped. So maybe I break here. It seems unlikely that I come back to this. So maybe I'll have some sort of post-mortem afterward. Yeah, this has really got me. The only other similar thing I can think of is like pirate and piracy and all that kind of haunting and enchantment stuff. But yeah, I am stumped. I don't want to click give up because maybe tomorrow I will come back to this, but again, it seems a bit unlikely. You can't win them all. This one looks really, really hard to win. If anybody does win this, I'm curious how they'll do it. So, hope you enjoyed this, and better luck next time.